Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll be learning how to create a pillow. I'll be using version 2022, but this can be done in earlier versions as well. Now with 3D Studio Max opened, let's go to the Create tab on the right side of the screen and select the plane. This can also be accessed by going to Create, Standard Primitives, Plane. Let's go to the top viewport and click and drag, something like this. I won't be using any dimensions, so just try and follow what I'm doing on screen. Let's select the box, click and drag one more time, something like this, and release. Let's go to the perspective viewport and maximize that. Grab the select and move tool. Let's move our box up slightly, something like this. This will allow our pillow to fall down to a collision object underneath. Get okay, back to the Select and Move tool. Let's go into the Modifier panel and modify the parameters of this box. Increase the segments to 10, but you notice nothing is showing up at the moment. So go into the default shading and activate the edged faces. You can also press F4 on your keyboard to activate and deactivate. In this case, we only activate it to be able to see what we're doing on screen. Let's increase the width segment to around 10 as well. Once done, click and drag to select everything in our viewport. Still within the modifier panel, select the modifier list and apply the cloth modifier. Let's go to object properties. Select the box. The box will be our pillow. So we're going to apply the cloth to that. And one of the most important thing is the pressure. This will help define our pillow. We can go from 0 to 100, but in this case, we're going to hit 25. Go to the plane, set that as the collision object, and press OK. Hit Simulate, and there we go. We've got a pillow. Let's wait for this to finish up. And that's it. We've got a pillow done within two minutes. As you can see, it's quite, it's quite nice. But from this, you can add as much detail as you want. Still within the modifier panel, let's select the modifier list, hit T and select turbo smooth. And that will smooth out the edges of our pillow. Hit F4 to see what we've done. This is it. Now we're going to add a little bit of detail to this. Turn off the turbo smooth, go back to cloth, hit F4, and with the cloth still selected, go ahead and apply the edit poly modifier. That will allow us to edit the edges and control the appearance of our pillow a little bit better. Let's go ahead and select the edge here. Select the edge in our pillow. You notice it's highlighted red to show that it's selected. Click on ring. That will select all the edges within that same line. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Connect. You notice we have a red line in the middle. So we've created new edges in the middle of our pillow. Select the extrude settings. That way we can edit it from here. So zoom in just to see what you're doing. Try and do something similar to what I'm doing here. So 0 0.35 is okay. Let's extrude inwards. So take it down to minus 0 0.5. Minus 0 0.5. Hit OK here. Hit the tick. And we've added some detail to our pillow. Activate the Turbo Smooth to see the changes. Hit F4. And you see we've created a, a little bit of detail to our pillow. Now you can extrude outwards as well and add more detail. So let's turn off the Turbo Smooth. Hit F4 again. Edit Poly. Select the edge. Let's grab this edge here. This time we're going to loop. 
and you notice there's a red line in the middle of our object like so now go back to the extrude settings and you notice we have we have our previous settings automatically applied so maybe let's try and see what that looks like hit ok turbo smooth again hit f4 and you notice we've added a little bit more detail here okay i'm gonna do one more turn off turbo smooth again go to edit poly hit f4 select the edge one more time and this time we select this edge here and loop one more time let's go ahead to extrude settings again and instead of going inward this time we are going to take this outward so outward will be we shouldn't have the minus at the front of our numbers so so something like this let's increase the size a bit a bit more and press ok f4 now you see we've extruded outward we can detail this a little bit more and create a fold so let's go back hit f4 let's turn off the turbo smooth go back to edit poly now let's grab the edge one more time let's select the edges surrounding our previous extrusion so you select the first one hold down control and select the second one so we want to select both of them go ahead and loop one more time and then let's go to the extrude settings again now here we need to reduce these to minus again especially this one let's take it down and this as well we need to reduce it in size that will allow us to create some sort of crease around our extrusion so something like this so minus 0 0.4 even 0 0.1 will be okay here like so press ok and activate turbo smooth one more time hit f4 and there we go so we've accentuated that by adding more detail to it this is what we have and to make it even more smooth we can go back to the turbo smooth and increase the iterations but be careful the more you do this it might slow down your computer you notice from one to two there's already a difference so it's a lot more smoother if i go to three it's a lot more you can edit this further by applying the noise modifier so let's try that so with our so with our pillow still selected we go back to the modifier list and select the noise modifier let's go ahead and apply one centimeter here just select all hit one one here and one here on the z axis now with the scale let's reduce that Now if you take it down to 3 or a bit more, it just changes the it just makes it a bit more pillow like. So maybe on the next tutorial I'll show you how to play around with this a little bit more because sometimes you don't want things to look too smooth, too perfect. You want it to look a little bit more natural. But there are so many other ways to modify this and uh, turn it into a real pillow but I just wanted to show you what we can do if you have any suggestions ideas or questions comment below and I'll make sure I answer your questions thanks for tuning in and um, I'll see you on the next lesson